crop production, more heat waves afflicting our cities, and a greater intensity in storms. Each one of those consequences of climate change will require policies to protect our citizens, especially those most vulnerable to violent weather. Each one will require new precautions in the repair and construction of our roads, bridges, railways, seawalls, and other infrastructure. Some states and local governments have already begun their planning and preparation for extreme events and other impacts of climate change. The federal government can help them in many ways, above all by coordinating their efforts, and I'm committed to providing that support. To lead in this effort, however,